Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Friday workout. It's lovely to have you here. If you are new, welcome. This is going to be a fabulous half an hour we're going to spend together today. We are all going to focus on our core. If you're with me every week, it's lovely to have you back. So let's get started, shall we? We're going to come uh, straight down onto your mats today. I'm really going to try and tune you into your core, okay? So it's going to start a little slowly so we can get tuned in and then we'll pick up the pace. So lie yourself down. And what I want you to do is put your hands in a triangle like this. So connect your thumbs and your index fingers. All right. And then you're going to place them just below your belly button. OK, so across your tummy, your lower abdominal area. And we're going to focus on activating the TVA. That's the deep muscle that goes all around your body here. So you're going to take a breath in. And then on the breath out, I want you to pull your tummy muscles or pull your tummy away from those hands, those fingers. But I want you to do it without any movement in your back. So you're just activating your core. So let's take a breath in. Long breath out. And as you do that, start to feel your tummy pulling in away from your fingers. And again, deep breath in. Exhale, drawing in. So hopefully you're feeling a kind of movement of a sort of flattening out of the abdominals. All right, keep that going. And I want you to just to focus on that today, trying to keep that connection every time you breathe out and to try and get that flattening sensation. What we don't want is doming, okay? That's not what we want. That's not going to benefit you for the aesthetic of that lovely kind of flat abdominals that we all love. You want to think very much about pulling in. So you can do that one more time. Deep breath in. Breathe out. and draw in. Now I want you to lift your legs up. So lift your right leg up and then lift your left leg up and place your hands down by your side. Now I want you to take a breath in, breathe out again, pull the abdominals in and see if we can pull in so much that it tips your pelvis back towards you. And as it does, you're pulling in further and then you're gonna inhale back. So you're going to exhale, drawing in a little tip, inhale back. And just try and find that connection between your body and your mind. And back. Exhale, tip. And back. Tip. And back one more. Tip. And back. Now leave your right leg in the air and tabletop. Take the left leg down onto the floor. Okay, so we're going to align this leg so we're parallel to the floor. We're going to focus again on this engagement in the core. So put your hands back across your tummy, all right? And I'll take a breath in. And on the out breath, I want you to pull the abdominals in and just float the left leg just off the floor without your back arching. You're going to feel that really deeply in your core and then place it back down. It doesn't have to lift far. Okay, take a breath in, exhale, little lift, pulling in, and out. Exhale, lift, and out. So you've got to not let your back arch. You've got to draw everything inwards, pulling in, finding that connection, and down. One more. And down. Now exhale, pull in, lift that leg all the way up and let's swap over. So right leg on the floor, left leg is bent. Taking a breath in, you're going to exhale, pull your abdominals in and float the right leg up and place it down. Deep breath in. Exhale, floating up and down again. 
and out. So if you keep pulling inwards each time, you'll feel if you're not, because you'll feel your tummy dome. We don't want the doming. And down, getting a lot of clicking in my spine. <laughs> and lift. And down. Now you're going to lift all the way up. We're going to bend those legs. We're going to take our arms onto the floor. We're going to do the spine twist. So we're going to keep that idea of that connection. You're going to breathe in, take the knees over to the right. Breathing out, pull the abdominals in and come back to center. Other way, inhale as you go left. Exhale, back to center. So remember, speed is not what we're looking for. We're looking for control and deep activation in the core. That's how you really get that muscle tone and that strengthening. And it's that strengthening of the TVA, the muscle that goes around the body that is really going to help with your lower back as well. Once more each side. Inhale over. And up. Inhale over. And up. Now I want you to take your left leg back down to the floor. Come into tabletop. Now, any issues with your neck on the next exercise, keep your head down. Otherwise, we're going to do a little nod of the chin. We're going to lift ourselves up and we're going to reach our hands forward. And we're going to do half of the hundred. So we're going to do 50 pumps of the arm. All right. Now, you can either leave the leg on the floor. Those of you that want to work harder are going to float that leg just off the floor. You're going to take a deep breath in and then we're going to exhale two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five. Now bring the left leg in, reach the right leg out. All right, choose your position. All right, the lower the leg just off the floor, the more challenge. Take a deep breath in and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. And exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, Four, five, bring that knee in, take the head down and then place those legs down. Let's go into a pelvic curl. So feet flat on the floor, deep breath in, exhale. Let's activate, pull everything in as we tip the pelvis back and peel the spine up off the floor. Press your feet down, take a breath in. Exhale, soften through the chest coming down through the spine and back onto your mat. Deep breath in, exhaling to tilt and roll that spine up. Hold it there, deep breath in and exhale as you come back down. Three more, deep breath in, exhaling to tilt. And roll that spine up. Inhale. And exhale. As you come down, deep breath in. Exhaling to tilt. And roll the spine up. Inhale. Exhale. As you come down, one more deep breath in. Exhaling to tilt. And roll that spine up, inhale. And exhale to come on down. All right, let's reach the left leg out. We're going to bring our right leg in the air. We're going to do our leg circles. We're going to focus on that core stability today. All right, so I want you to make sure that your pelvis does not move today. Okay, so we're going to make this even more challenging. You're going to put your hands on your hips just on those hip bones. Okay, you're gonna flex the foot on the left leg. Right leg is pointed. Now take the right leg 
across as far as you can without your pelvis rolling, without you rolling to the side. Then circle the leg down slowly, slowly, out to the side and up. So we've got to really pull in on those tummy muscles. So we're going to breathe in to go across. Breathe out. That's when you pull the belly in as you circle. This is to stabilize and activate the core. It's a challenge, right? Inhale across. Exhale, circle around and up. Just two more. Inhale across. Exhale, circle around and up. Inhale across. Exhale, pulling in around and up. Let's reverse the direction. So right leg goes out to the side as you inhale. As you exhale, it's going to go down over to the left and up. Inhale out, exhale around and up. So it's not about a big circle today. It's about finding that connection through the leg, through the hip, into the deep core. Lovely. We'll do one more. Uh, well done. Now flex the foot, place it down on the floor. Let's bring that left leg up. Same thing. So just set yourself up. Place your hands on your tummy if you want to. It's a really good way to know what's going on. All right. Now we're going to point the toes on this left leg. We're going to inhale across. Exhale, circle around and up. Across, down around and up. So this side you might find easier, you might find more challenging. Don't worry about that. Just note how it feels, what's going on in your body. Inhale, exhale, around. Let's change direction. So going out to the left, down, across and up. Inhale, out, exhale. That's when you pull in. And up, good, inhale, exhale around and up, inhale out, exhale around and up, inhale out, exhale around and up. We'll make this the last one, lovely, exhale around and up. Now leave that leg there, bring the right leg up. So you've got your legs straight up in the air. I want you to place your hands on the floor. Same thing we did at the beginning. You're going to take a breath in. You're going to exhale, a little activation of the core, and just feel your lower back pressing into the floor and back. Exhale, draw in. So it's not a big lift up. We don't want to be doming. We want to be pulling in. So it's all coming from that deep drawing in on the abdominals. You can hear it in my voice. And one more. And up, well done. Bend your knees, bring yourself up to sitting. Okay, so let's continue with this approach. We're going to sit up nice and tall, eye line forward, take a breath in. Now exhale, pull everything in here, keep pulling in, keep flattening. Think of flattening rather than pushing out, pulling in and bring yourself back. Take an inhale, exhale, come up and lift back up. One more, exhale, drawing in, coming back. Check that you're flattening out here, inhale, exhale, coming up. Now you can stay doing that, you wanna work harder. We'll do the full roll up, so that's exhale, coming down slowing it down once you start to get the back of the waist on the floor and arms overhead. Then you're going to inhale. Exhale, come up. Let's reach over and restack the spine. Exhale, pulling in. Coming back, arms overhead. Inhale. And over. You want to work a little harder? You're going to bring your arms up, eye line up, and keep them up as you come down. So it's going to put a bit more load onto your tummy muscles. You choose what feels right for you. Same as you come up. So we've got our arms up, reaching up, looking at the sky. Deep breath in. I'm looking right at the sky at the moment. It's a lovely day down here in Brighton. 
and over. Inhale. Exhale, reaching up and bring those arms out to the side. From there, we're going to come into a kneeling position. Okay, and we're going to work the core in this position. So what I want you to think about is here on the tummy, a sense of pulling in and up. So not so much that you're rounding, but we don't want the, we don't want the abdominals kind of dropping down, okay? All right, so what we're going to do from here is press the mass away. We're going to slide the right leg back to start with. And we're going to do eight lifts. So we're going to lift for one, two. So it's exhale, lift, inhale, lower, lift, and lower for four, three, two, one. Now pull the abdominals in, reach the arm out. Okay, and here is the challenge. You're going to bend the arm at the elbow, place the forearm down on the floor. So now we've taken our weight forward slightly. You're gonna to turn to look back towards that foot that's in the air. And then we're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. That's it, we're gonna do eight, so we've got four to go. Four, three, two, one. Hold it there. So we've got our leg in the air, pull your abdominals in, and now see if you can reach straight up woo, into that balance. Okay, now we're going to go straight back down. We're going to do four lifts of the leg. So we're going to go four, three, two, one. Pull your abdominals in, lift up. Little balance. Good. Should be feeling this in your glutes as well, which is part of your core. Come back down. We're doing twos now. So two leg lifts. One, two, lift back up. Hold it here. Good. Back down. We're going to do a single. Lift, lower, and lift, and come up. Go back down. Lower and lift and come up go back down lower and lift and come up and one more lower and lift and come up hold it there now bend that back leg bend that front elbow and just come into a little cat stretch to stretch out so push the mat away, pull the abdominals in, rounding the spine, reaching out, and then let's swap to the other side. All right, so that's our combo. We're going to take our left leg back. So we're just going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower for four, three, two, one. Now we're going to remove the opposite arm. Let's have a nice little balance there. Good. Now bend at the elbow, place the forearm down, rotate to look back. Okay, and then we're going to lower and lift. So think of that leg elongating and lift. Don't forget the tummy and lift for four, Three, two, one, lift. Now pull your abdominals in and let's come back up. This is the challenge. This is where you're really using all your core. That's it. Well done. Now come back down. We're going to do four. Four, three, two, one. Lifting up, pull your abdominals in. Press into that forearm. This is where the core has to work to get you back up into that position. Good, come back down, twos. One, two, pull the abdominals in, lift, 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 lift. 
and back down, single, and lift, and back down, let's do a single, I've lost count, well, we'll come back up, 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 well done, now bend that back leg, bend that front arm, pull your abdominals in, round your spine as much as you can, so really lifting, lifting, lifting in the abs, well done, reaching out, and lowering down, well done, let's do a little cat stretch, take a breath in, exhale, draw the abdominals in, tucking under, and again, pulling in as much as you can, inhale, and exhale, back the other way, well done, okay, coming onto your side, Okay, we're going to do a little bit of work on the side. We'll do a little combination. So let's have the feet out, the legs out, and have you lying all the way down. Okay, have this hand in front of your chest. Now check this hip is directly above that one because we're going to work the side of your core. Okay, so literally we're working all the way through here. So you're going to exhale, lift both legs up. Inhale down. Exhale, lift them up. Inhale down. Exhale, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four, four, three, two, one. I'm going to have a little bit of fun now. So you're going to go from here. Watch me. Push off this front arm. Roll onto your back. Bring your legs up. Got it? Now bring your right leg towards you, left leg away. Two little pulls. One, two. Switch the legs. One, two. Switch the legs. One, two. And switch. One, two. And switch. One, two. And switch. Keep the chest up. Good. One, two. And switch. One, two. And switch. One, two and switch, one, two, and switch. Bring both legs up, take them down. Uh, I wanna go from here, as low as you feel you can go without your back lifting, all right? And then you're gonna bring them down to the floor. Well done, take your arms overhead. And from here, I'm gonna roll away from you, you're gonna roll away from me. So you're gonna roll onto your other side for our side leg lifts. Okay, so we're gonna elongate those legs. Exhale, lift the legs up, inhale down. Exhale, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four, four for three, for two, for one, hold it there, are you ready, roll onto your back, bring your legs back up, well done, single leg stretch, so we're going to bend this knee, bring it in towards us, okay, lift your head and chest up, now from there, I want you to take your hands behind your head, so you're supporting your neck, and then we're going to switch, Good. Another eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees in. Now I want you to exhale, pulling the abdominals in as the legs go out. Inhale in. So don't go too low. You want to make sure that your back is not arching, reaching out and coming in. Exhale out. As you come in, you can do a little lift of the pelvis. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. One more. Out and in. Well done. From there, we're going to come back down. We're going to roll back onto our side. 
and we're going to do another little combination. So side leg lifts, we're going to repeat them, but we're not going to put the foot on the floor, the feet on the floor once we start. So you're going to exhale, lift, inhale, lower, but don't touch the floor. Lift it up. So emphasis is up and up. Don't forget to breathe. And four, three, two, one. Now roll onto your back, bring your legs up. We did the hamstring pull. Now we're gonna do it without the arms. So hands behind the head, lower the left leg, bring the right leg towards you, two pulses. One, two, switch the legs. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. Get that chest up, one, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, two, switch, one, two, switch, and one, two, and switch. Now bring the legs up, take a breath in, and as you exhale, pull the abdominals in, lower the legs down, and turn away from me onto your side. Okay, so side leg lifts, we're gonna exhale, lift, inhale, lower, but don't touch the floor, lift and lower lift and lower, lift and lower, lift, that's it, four, four, and three, and two, and one, keep the legs in the air, roll back onto your back, bring the legs up, hands are going back behind your head, okay, and we're going to do the crisscross, so you're going to bend the right leg, Extend the left leg, lift your chest up, left elbow to the right knee. Take a breath in, switch sides. Keep going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring those legs in, well done, and roll all the way over onto your front. Okay, so from here, let's have our feet slightly apart, and let's have our forearms down, chin tucked a little, so you're lengthening through the back of the neck. We're going to take a breath in. And we're going to breathe out. We're going to lengthen through the spine. So imagine your spine being pulled and lengthened, lifting up, drawing the abdominals in. And if you feel able to, you're going to keep going. You're going to go as far as you feel comfortable going. Then you're going to take a breath in. Breathe out. You're going to come down. Inhale. Exhale, extending out. So now we're working the spinal muscles, which are also part of your core. Okay. And lots of people think the core is just the tummy. It really isn't. Exhale, lifting up. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Good, one more deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, lowering back down. From there, let's place our hands underneath, pushing up. We're going to finish with a little bit more core work. Okay, core stability. So I want you to get into a nice kneeling position. Press your hands down, lengthen out, looking just ahead of your mat. Then I want you to reach your right leg back. And as you exhale, pull the tummy in and take your left leg back as well. Okay, we're going to hold it here. So think of trying to press the floor away from you. At the same time, pull your abdominals in. Okay, and then we're just going to rock forward and rock back. So heels towards the wall behind you, getting that calf stretch. Come forward and back, 
forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, one more, forward and back. Now take a breath in, breathe out, pull your abdominals in and lift your hips to the ceiling. That's it. Let's go into a nice shoulder stretch. So push that chest towards your thighs. Try and lower those heels towards the floor. Really extend that stretch out. Well done. And then walk your feet forward. That's it. So they're closer to your hands. Take the weight out of your hands. Let your head hang down. Get a little shake. That's it. Take a breath in. Breathing out, I want you to draw your abdominals in and slowly come all the way up to standing. Turning to face me to finish, take a breath in, lift the arms up. Exhale, reaching out. Inhale up. Exhale, reaching out. And one more, inhale up. And exhale reaching out and thank you very much indeed for your hard work today so that was our 30 minute core workout please do go ahead and press that like button before you go and please do subscribe if you haven't already if you need to go then have a wonderful day and if you want to stick around i'll be on the chat for the next five ten minutes so if you've got any questions at all you can ask me those now all right so take care and have a lovely day well done, everyone. Oh, I hope you felt that today. Try to give you a really sort of core focused workout. Um, so before we go, or before you need to go, I uh, just want to let you know that on Monday, Monday, I'll be doing a full body workout, which is going to be core exercises, but also exercises to release a tight back because uh, I know a lot of people feel strain in their back. So we're going to mix between core and lengthening all the back muscles and trying to release everything as well. So that will be Monday at 4.30 UK time. And then Saturday, so that's tomorrow, I will have a new playlist out for you. It's all done and ready to go. So I'm pleased I've gone ahead of my schedule this week. Um, so yes, that's what will be out tomorrow. So that will be seven videos which will be for the next seven days. And it will include, include the two lives from this week. We did a resistance band workout on Monday. So if you haven't seen that yet, do go check that out because it's a really good one for working the core and also really toning those muscles using a resistance band. Uh, so yes, if you've got any questions, do fire away. Now, I also wanted to remind you all about a couple of things that I have a book coming out. It's going to be in the UK, published on March the 9th. It's called The Little Book of Pilates. I'm just waiting to get my copy. It's supposed to be coming next week, so I'm very excited. If I have it next week, I will show you. Uh, but it is a small book which has all the 34 original Pilates exercises in with descriptions on how to do them, how to modify or to make them more challenging. Uh, it's only, uh, I think it's $6.99 in the UK. It might even be $6.15 on Amazon. Uh, so if you uh, want to get a copy, please go ahead and pre-order because the pre-orders will help get the a book up the Amazon table, which is what I want to do is try and get as many people to it as possible. Once I have it, I'll just show you all about it and how it works. But it's essentially going to be a book where you can look up the exercise and the index, go straight to the exercise and kind of review what you need to do. OK, so it's going to be out in the UK on March the 9th and then the rest of Europe, USA, Canada, uh, rest of the world, it's going to be out on May the 2nd, but you can also pre-order on Amazon.com. Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a cold, my nose is running. Uh, you can uh, order it on Amazon.com uh, right now as well. So our uh, Kevin, I know we'll put the links in the chat for me there. 
All right, so I'm just going to go to the chat now, see who's here, and uh, yeah, see what we'd like to do. I know we've got, uh, we did resistance band, um, so I was thinking um, that I might do another piece of equipment next week. So if you've got any requests, you know that I listen to you, and obviously with the live, I get the, I can see immediately what you're saying. So any requests, do let me know. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at the chat now. Um, before I do anything, I just want to say uh, thank you. A big shout out to the following people for your super thanks. The super thanks, everyone, in case you don't know, you'll see that there's a button down the bottom that you can use to donate. You can buy the super thanks, which gives you a little choice of emoji. And what that means is not only are you supporting my channel because this costs a lot of money to run because I have lights and I've got a camera and because I do it live, I also have to have a special setup that allows me to broadcast live, which is all quite tech and complicated, um, but is where the money goes. If you ever want to know where your money goes, I will give you a behind the scenes tour at some point because I think that would be good to see what my new studio looks like from the other side of the camera, well, from this side of the camera, because obviously I can see everything and you can't, but that's where your money goes. So it doesn't go into me having great holidays or anything like that. It goes into being able to do more of this and to keep the studio going with the cost of the lights, the electricity, et cetera. So any donations are so appreciated. And as you know, I've always said, I don't want to charge people for doing the workouts. I don't have an app that you have to pay for. They will always be free. As long as I can afford to do them for free, they will be free. But of course, if you donate, you are helping support me and helping me keep this going. So that's where the donations go. They go into maintaining the business and keeping it going. So big shout out this morning to Sally Gretarex. Thank you very much, Sally, for your donation. Ruth Enright. Thank you, Ruth. Love the emoji. Hey, you. Very good indeed. Margaret Quinlan. Good morning, Margaret. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, much appreciated. Carol Neath, who's donated five pounds. Thank you very much indeed, Carol. And thanks for your encouragement. Caroline Ford. Hello, Caroline. I love the coffee emoji. That will be me straight after class today. Thank you so much for your donation as well. And Josie Briggs, dear Josie, thank you very, very much indeed. I know that uh, a lot of you also donate on Ko-fi. And I did want to say on Ko-fi, uh, it's really, really helpful if you would consider it making a regular donation. You can do a one-off, but you can also choose to subscribe. And you can do any amount. You can do like three pounds a month or more. Some people do a lot more. Some people do three pounds. Some people do you know, 10 pounds a week. It's whatever you can afford. But a regular subscription, again, it helps me plan ahead. So if I know kind of what is coming or, or what's coming on a monthly basis, it allows me to plan what I can do. And if you look back over last year, I was in this studio, in the other studio, but I also went out and did some filming. And I'd like to do that again uh, this year so you get different backdrops and different looks. Hopefully, if the weather's good enough, we might even go to the beach at some point this year, depending on the weather in the UK, because it's a bit, uh, it's not very predictable, or it is very unpredictable is what I mean. Um, but yes, so a regular subscription on Kofi, again, that really does help us plan, myself and Kerwin, what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. Uh, so any Kofis are much appreciated as well. Okay, that's enough of me chatting. Um, so I'm going to have a look at um, uh, requests for today. Okay, Vicky P. Hi, Vicky P. Vicky says that was really challenging. I was indeed. Stiliani, uh, Stella. Hi, Stella. Uh, you did 10, min 10 minutes and it was great. Josie Briggs says that was a really, really good one. Still a bit out of breath after it. Oh, well done, Josie. Really, really good to hear. Sarah Runnicle says, is it possible to have some more short videos dedicated to posture, like a short podcast you did a while back? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We can do that, Sarah. Let me make a note about that. 
Do you remember, uh, Sarah, I did that um, uh, workout, which was for forward head posture. It's with me with my arms in this position. So for anyone who wants to work on their posture before I do my new videos, because um, I'll do a list of uh, what people are looking for. I have a really, really good one. It's only 10 minutes and it basically works the shoulders, but it also works on kind of stretching you across here and also working the back muscles. Very important for improving our posture. But I've made a note, uh, Sarah, thank you very much. Uh, posture videos. Uh, I'm just going to see who I, if I see anyone else, Caroline Ford. Oh, Caroline, you've tested positive for COVID. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, look, I hope you're all right. Just do rest, Caroline, and look after yourself, won't you? Just really, really important to, you know, take care of yourself, allow yourself to rest so your body can, can really fight that virus. And I really hope you feel better soon. Um, so Josie Briggs says a little ball session. Uh, you'd like a ball session. Very good. Um, I might do a ball session next week, actually. Sally Gretarex. Oh, you'd like a ball session. A ball class for seniors. Whoopsie daisy. Ball class for seniors. Um, okay. I'm just writing this down in my notepad. Uh, okay, what else have we got? Summer Fleda says, thank you so much. I had to pause for three minutes in between, but then I could go till the end. I love the challenging classes. Ah, oh, thank you, Summer. I'm really glad you enjoyed it and well done for getting through the class. Uh, Carol Lee says, brilliant. Thanks, Rachel. Interesting routine, not very ladylike. Always get a tweak in very lower back when doing the downward dog any suggestions a tweak are you probably really really tight in your lower back so i would say carol if that feels a bit uncomfortable um because that's quite a deep stretch isn't it the downward dog because we're sort of in this position so what you could do is instead of doing that lie down on the floor uh, on your back and then pull your knees into your chest and then just gently rock back and forth and that will kind of gently stretch out that lower back area. Try that and see how that feels, Carol. Uh, Hayley Jupp says, little blue ball. Okay, it's definitely going to be a ball class, I think, next week, isn't it? So let's say uh, we already have three requests for ball class, so we will do a ball class next week. Now, if you don't have a ball, don't worry, you've got time to buy one. They're not expensive. You can get them on Amazon. Um, I haven't got my, oh, hang on, I'm just going to grab my ball, see if I've got a ball somewhere. Um, well, I've got two balls, actually. Um, this is another one that I've got, but I do have a little ball, but I just don't have it in here. You want a nice squishy ball like this, okay? It's very, very challenging on the core. And I would say you could have either a seven inch ball or a nine inch ball. All right, so try and get one of those before next Friday. If you can't afford to get one, then um, grab yourself a cushion next week and I will try and do exercises that you could also use a cushion with. But these squidgy balls, these little balls are really, really good. So we will definitely do ball class next Friday, okay? And uh, Sally, I'll make sure that it's something that can be done with seniors as well. What's great about the ball is it's really challenging on the core, but it's also really good for opening up and working the upper back. So we'll do a mix of those movements. Uh, good to know. Thank you, Hayley. So, yeah, that's in for next week. Delia Hart. Morning, Rachel. Thanks for such a great session for the core. I'll definitely repeat it often. Uh, oops. There we go. I still don't know how you talk so easily through it. Can I request a small ball workout? I think it's definitely a ball workout next week. Absolutely, Delia. So that's what we will do next Friday is we will do the small ball, the Pilates ball, the over ball. There's many different names for it, but it's basically a seven or a nine inch uh, inflatable ball. 
And just so you know, make sure when you have one that it's not fully blown up. You want it to be slightly squishy like this. Can you see uh, that you need that squishiness because it really will give you an added uh, added challenge. It makes things quite unstable. Too hard, it's not going to work for you. You need slight squishiness in it because you're going to put it under your pelvis and various other things. Uh, but yes, I'll create a new class for you all next week with the ball. Uh, Martine de Kerpel, um says, do you blow up the belly when you breathe in on your back? When I do the breath for the pelvic floor, I do not do that. Difficult in English as well. And I did not stay uh, on the mat by turning. OK, so Martine, uh, in order to answer your questions. No, with the with the belly, you don't push it out ever in Pilates. So the breath in, you're not really doing anything. You're just letting your body do whatever it wants. So when I breathe in. The belly slightly goes out, but generally I'm trying to focus actually on the movement of the ribs rather than being a belly breath. I think yoga, there's a lot more belly breathing, if I'm right. Um, but in Pilates, we tend to do the in-breath as a focus on the expansion of the ribs. Yes, in all directions, because your ribs can go forward, they can go sideways, they can also go back. So the inhale is about expanding the ribs and then the exhale is about pulling everything in so ribs in core in everything moving inwards towards your center okay uh, i hope that helps martine uh and yes you're correct you don't you don't push the belly out uh and you didn't stay on your mat nor did i did you see i came off the mat at the back and then rolled back on just a bit of fun just thought it'd be fun to roll around a little bit this morning uh give you something different uh kathy freeman says yes would love pilates on brighton beach okay kathy that's what we're going to aim for this year we're definitely going to uh Wait for the weather to get a little better, and we're going to go check it out. Um, Terry, hello, Terry. Thank you so much. The wonderful Terry has donated £10 today. Thank you, Terry. Uh, it really, really does help. So thank you so much. That's really kind of you. And also Tina Luba. Hello, Tina, who's donated $9.99. Thank you so much, Tina. I really, really do appreciate your donation this morning. Thank you. Really glad you enjoyed the class. Terry says, I can't lift my legs off the floor without my back moving. Any tips, please? Okay, so Terry, what I would suggest is if you can't at this point, then bend your legs, bend at the knees, and then lift your legs up, okay? Because lifting your legs straight off the floor is super challenging. And that was, I, you know, I like to throw in a challenge. Uh, but if it doesn't feel right or you feel your back's going, it means that your abs are not able to hold you in that position. And there's nothing wrong with that because it is a really, really tough to do that. OK, so you can either do what we did at the beginning of class where you were just lifting one leg off the floor at a time. Or if you're going to do both together, just bend the knees and bring them up. And that's a completely fine. Uh, okay, Seagull says, hello, I uh, couldn't join you in the past few weeks, I was away on holiday and came back with a very bad cold. Uh, not as bad as man flu still. <laughs> Hope to be fit again on Monday. Don't worry, I will see you on Monday, that's fine. Hello to Jeanette. Jeanette, thank you very much for your donation. Really appreciate that and your lovely super sticker, that's very cute indeed. Tina Luba says, I love Rachel's band class. Would you like, uh, would like some more band workouts? Very effective workouts. Thank you, Tina. I will make a note. Did you do my latest one on Monday? Um, I hope so. Band workout, I will add. I don't know if any of you have, um, I just bought these myself. Let me just show you. Do any of you have these bands? these loop bands. 
these are quite in at the moment workouts with these bands a lot of them are kind of glute based workouts so you can see but you can do lots of things kind of working on the shoulders uh, I mean all kinds of movements in different directions you can also put this around the legs and work the glutes and the side of the hips etc so if that's something that you would like let me know in the comments uh, or in the comments below here. We can let me know on the live chat before I go today uh, whether or not you'd like a workout with a loop band because these we haven't done before. Again, they're not expensive uh, and you can get all different uh, strengths. That's quite a strong one, but you can get lighter ones. But they're quite fun to mix things up. And I have to say, I really love a band. I think bands are so good. For me, being a, a certified Pilates teacher, I'm certified to teach on all equipment as well as mats. So I do, I can teach on the reformer and the Cadillac and the wonder chair, the ladder barrel, all that kind of stuff. And what I quite like is that the bands to me remind me of working with the springs that we work with in Pilates, because you get that resistance in both directions. So I would really recommend that you start to build up your little Pilates home kit. So you've got yourself a mat, get yourself a really good uh, band, get yourself a ball, doesn't matter what color, you just want one between seven and nine inches, get yourself a ball, because then you've got a nice little selection of things. And we together, we can do more workouts with the props as well. Okay, it just mixes things up a little. Um, okay, so going down, Leslie Matin, thank you very much, Leslie, for your donation today. Really do appreciate that. Um, Regina, hello, Regina, who's in Ohio in the US. Hello to you. Hi to Jeanette. Jeanette, thank you very much for your uh, uh, comments. Says, thanks for another great routine. You really explain the moves so well. It helps massively. You're very welcome, Jeanette. I do like to spend time explaining because I know that you guys get it and you can really integrate that into your body. And that's what Pilates is all around, about that mindful movement, using our minds to help improve and control and increase the strength and flexibility in our bodies. Um, Terry says, I have a loop band. My son got it for me by mistake when I asked for a flexi band. Good to know, Terry. Hang on to that loop band. Sarah Runnicle says, where do you get loop bands? I can't find them anywhere. Oh, okay, Sarah. Well, I got these. Um, I got this. It's a brand called Core Steady. Um, Core Steady, C-O-R-E, Steady. I think I got them off Amazon. Um, but yeah, if you look at core steady resistance bands, you'll see these little loop bands. And then you'll also see the standard ones like the one I used the other day as well. But I bought them. I've got to be honest, I bought them because I really like the colors. They've got all these colors. So they've got the green. Uh, they've got this lovely peach one and then a pink one. These are all different strengths. So I tend to work with uh, different strengths according to what I want to do. And they also do all these loop bands. So again, look, they have this yellow one, blue. These are all different. Again, these are all different uh, strengths. I think this one is a light. And you'll see that they have two little, they have these dots on the side. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. They've got these dots. Can you see there's two dots there according to how strong they are? So for example, this one's got the three dots on, is a much stronger one. And this one has the white, which is super, super light. Uh, so again, you, they all come together as a pack of five. So, and they weren't expensive. I think they were $6.99, $7.99, something like that. And they'll last you at least six months to a year. So definitely worth getting. So if you can get a loop band, everyone, uh, then we'll do one of those in a few weeks time. All right. Let me know because my plan is to do one of those workouts for you soon. Um, OK. Um, Kathy Freeman says we'd like a glute band session. Right. We'll definitely do that, Kathy. Yep, yeah, with the loop band. Uh, Martin DeKerpel says you do have it. Uh, Roger Price says, uh, name of your book, please, Rachel. Thanks from Una. Uh, my book is called The Little Book of Pilates. 
uh, by me, by Rachel Lawrence, the, the Little Book of Pilates. So if you just put that into Amazon, whether it's amazon.co.uk, amazon.com, you'll find it there. And yes, it's coming out on March the 9th in the UK, May 2nd for the rest of the world. Uh, all right. And on March the 9th, which is a Thursday, I'm going to be doing a special live broadcast on the publication day uh, in the UK. It's going to be a full one hour class and it's going to be all the beginner's exercises from the book. And don't be fooled into thinking that means it's going to be easy because it's going to, these are the original Pilates exercises, so they are quite challenging. Even the beginners can be quite challenging. Okay, but we're going to do a special broadcast on my publication day, because I'm just so excited. It's kind of a dream come true to have a book published. I've always wanted to. And I think I might have done it in one of my really early broadcasts. I showed a book that I got given when I was about eight years old by my parents, and it was an exercise book. And it must have just, just, clicked at that point that one day that's what I wanted to do so I'm very excited about it it's my first one so it's a small one it's a little one like this it's like a little guidebook where you can just go in and flick through find your exercise find the description and then adapt it to suit you and then the plan is that if that does really well then I want to do a bigger book with lots of photographs and all kinds of well-being advice and that sort of thing in so if you buy the book, it'll really help. Uh, so thank you very much, Una. I hope you can find that. You can see, Una, that Kerwin's put the links there. So if you click on those links, you can go straight to the uh, book on Amazon. Thanks for that, Kerwin. Uh, Summer, thank you. Little book of Pilates. Uh, Juicy Fruit, hello. Juicy Fruit says, would love a band workout, especially if they're good for working the glutes. Need to work on my pancake bottom. Right. So I think we've got a very definite uh, ball class for next week. And shall we say then, as we're all chatting about it now, that we'll do the ball next week and the week after we'll do the loop band glute workout. OK, I'm writing it down right now so I can put it. Um, loop band. Loop band. So I can put it in my programming now the loop bands you want are like this okay they call them glute bands sometimes on amazon what i'll try and do is once i program it i will put a link i'll find the link to this band when i get the program up and i'll put it in so you can see exactly what bands i've got and where i've got them from so i'll try and do that i'll try and do that for you guys today so you can get your order in and I'll also do the same with the ball so you can see where to get it from obviously you don't have to buy the ones that I'm suggesting um you know you but it'll give you an idea of what they look like and the size and all that kind of stuff okay I think it's time to go lovely people because it's uh, 11 o'clock time to switch off go and have my coffee uh but don't forget I'll be here on Monday 4 30 Monday is a full body workout. It will be core, but it will also be a lot of exercises to really release tightness in your back. And that's not just your lower back, it's your upper back as well. All right, so that's going to be a really, really good session. I'll have a new playlist out for you tomorrow morning. And then next week, we're going to be back here, same time. Bring your balls. We're going to do a lovely ball workout. All right. So until then, have a really, really good day. Have a lovely weekend. And I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye bye.